Hi James, this is Caitlin. I wanted to make you a little tree video uh, because you're so interested in trees and I am at an arboretum uh, in Massachusetts where they specialize in a wide variety of trees from all over the world, particularly Asia, but they also have natives. And so I just wanted to point out to you some different species to help you um, develop a vocabulary and a knowledge of different types and different uh, growth habits also, like branching patterns. So this alley right here is all dogwood and we have dogwood that are native to the north to north america these dogwood are native to asia to japan and china and they're different they're more uh, robust and they have this camouflage bark but some of the um, traits they share with our native uh, dogwood and the reason that science says that they're all related at some part is because of the movement of plates on the surface of the earth. So I'm gonna show, so I showed you the dogwoods. Now I'm gonna show you an incredible magnolia. Magnolia is a big family of trees and they are for the most part native to the, um, North America. This one is incredibly gigantic. Look at the leaf against my hand. And these are seed pods that um, uh, come after this white flower, which is the size of a, of a dinner plate. They are actually on the high line in New York City, so you could see them, but they could never grow as large as this one. I'm gonna pan upward. It's all one tree. So that's one type of magnolia. Um, now I'm gonna take you through and show you this uh, jagged tree is an oak tree. There are lots and lots of oaks here. Um, this one, this is how they label some trees with these um, labels attached to uh, the branches. This one is also a magnolia, but it's a different type. Then we'll move through here. Um, that we're looking at is a conifer or an evergreen. Conifers are trees that hold their leaves for uh, all, all year round. Um, these two trees here and here are magnificent. They're called Carpinus. And of course, they're very old. Um, and these Carpinus, I think, are from Asia. Uh, there's the label. Um, but we also have Carpinus that are native. So yes, here's another label. This Carpinus is from Japan. Um, the reason this arboretum specializes in J Japanese plants is because the woman who lived here was fascinated with the fact that the climate in Japan was very similar to this part of Massachusetts. And so she started to develop relationships with Japanese horticulturists and they sent her seeds and then she would propagate and she developed this place and now it's public. So this is the alley of dogwoods that I started off by showing you. Now I'm gonna go a little off the beaten path and look for another example of a tree to show you. This massive tree here is a tulip tree. We have lots of tulip trees in our park systems. They have this distinctive leaf I don't know if you can see it from the camera, but they're known to be very, very vertical trees um, that the Indians used to make their canoes out of. However, this tree, because it was spoiled from the very beginning, branched out, and but you can even see the branches up above 
how straight they are too. That's a magnificent tree. There are lots of delicate ones. This is a, a Magnolia grandiflora, which is also, um, I think, Asian. And believe it or not, someone planted one in our park at 145th Street in Edgecombe. If you go into the park at the top of the stairs, you will see a giant version of this. And it tells you, if you look at the conditions around it, how tough that tree is. So um, these um, sort of smaller trees, are, I consider them shrubs, are witch hazel with this distinctive seed here. Um, they're going to, actually, I'm not sure if that's a seed or a flower, but they're going to flower in the uh, winter. And the white wrapping is to prevent the deer from munching the tree. They can, the deer can actually kill a tree if they eat too much of it. So, so this is a label. It shows you the scientific name for witch hazel. And there are many, many types of witch hazel. Some are Asian, some are North American. So I'm just going to pan around because I think I've given you enough a detail not to overwhelm you but to surfeit you so I should stop soon. This gorgeous thing that I'm looking at now is a weeping beach which is much prized. You'll find these there's one in a famous weeping beach that was in Queens that people wrote about. So this is a tree from Europe but um you can propagate it. It's a little difficult. So so I'm just gonna, oh, I had to tell you about this tree. This is a crazy tree from Asia. It's called the monkey puzzle tree. And um, it's extraordinary. These are actually the leaves. It's look, it looks like a cactus. And indeed it's very sharp. Um, but it grows here. 